new selection cycling functionality in AutoCAD 2011 can really improve your ability to select the right objects in a 3D model, particularly when they're obscured by the model. For example, here I have a bike model with these 3D surfaces, and if I want to select one of the splines that was used to create the surface, it might be tough for me to get exactly that object because whenever I click, I'm getting the surface itself. With selection cycling, you can toggle it on on the status bar, this toggle right here, turn that on, and then as you pass your cursor over a part of the drawing that has multiple objects on top of each other, you'll see that it indicates with a little icon, the two blue rectangles. That tells me that I've got several objects overlaying each other right in that point. If you then click with selection cycling on, AutoCAD will display a list of all the objects that it found overlapping each other. You can select which object from that list you actually want to edit. If I select right here, we'll see that it displays several different types of objects and you can see the little color swatch indicating what color that object is. And if it's by layer, then it will display that layer's color. So it makes it very easy to get just the object that you want so you can continue editing it from there. If, as you're working on your model, you find that the selection cycling is getting in your way, you can always just turn it off with the toggle right there. Another handy selection tool in AutoCAD 2011 is the Select Similar tool. This enables you to pick an object, for example, I'll just select right here on the surface, and then with the right-click menu, you can choose Select Similar. Here it's selected all of the extruded surfaces that are on the same layer as the original surface I selected. You can control the criteria that it matches during the Select Similar process. To do that, invoke the Select Similar command from the command line. You'll see the Settings option. By default it has Layer and Name enabled, but you can turn on other properties as well. For example, maybe you want to match a specific object style. If you've got dimensions, if you're selecting a dimension and you want it to match the same type of dimension style, or you select a text object and you want it to select only objects with that same text style, you can enable that property. Or, of course, color, line type, and other general properties. Now again, once you have those objects selected, you can continue doing whatever editing operation you need. Pull up the properties window, erase them, put them on a different layer, whatever it is that you need to do. Both the Select Similar and the Selection Cycling tools are really just about selecting the right objects.